Hey everyone and welcome back to BMX News. This is a weekly BMX news show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week within the world of BMX that I think you guys might care about. With that being said, I'm back from New Jersey, back from Montana Ricky's house, and the news is back to normal. So let's get right on into it with the first things that I want to highlight this week, and that is the Eclat Seismic Hub has finally been revealed totally. We've seen the internals completely. There's pictures of everything and descriptions of how it all works works for everyone to check out and to give a quick summary of how this works there's two ratcheting rings that go together with springs on either side of them that have been specially designed to allow it to be a driver going one direction and coast going the other if you guys want any further details on this it is in the link in the description below it will be the first link and everything after that will be everything else that i'm going to talk about in the order that i talk about it there's a few benefits that come with this design the first of those being 100 percent constant in full engagement of this hub. Because of the nature of the ratcheting ring, all of the teeth are in contact at all times whenever you're pedaling. So rather than having two to four paws in contact with a ratcheting ring the way that we see hubs conventionally right now, we have every single tooth in contact at all times. And that is exactly why we see skipping in some hubs today. We're putting all of that force onto two to four paws in contact with a ratcheting ring. And when you think about it, all of that force pedaling down on your bike is kind of a lot. So it's understandable that it would skip sometimes whenever it's only being put onto two to four tiny little points to drive the entire bike forward. With the seismic hub, that's not the case. It's always in contact and always engaged whenever pedaling forward. Another benefit of this seismic hub design is that it's a lot lighter and easier to work on. You're just popping out these little cog looking things and popping them back into the hub. And I'm showing everything that I'm talking about on the screen as we're talking about it. So it really seems like it's going to be awesome and hopefully it's a total game changer within BMX hubs. I'm excited for this and I'm excited for Fly's Magneto hub which also could be a complete game changer in the hub space. I'm sure that someone's already thought about it or someone's going to be mad that I'm spewing this into a BMX news video for anyone to watch but can you imagine if they figured out a way to use magnets instead of these springs to push these ratcheting rings together? so that you never need any sort of spring again. And the only mechanical pieces are these two little ratcheting rings that go into your hub and your driver. That could be another total game changer if someone does it. Hopefully they do. And if no one's thought about this yet, you're welcome for the idea. Give me some royalties later. So to wrap up talking about the Eclat Seismic Hub, it's going to be available in a few different options, both left and right side drive, as well as female and male. There's a whole bunch more info on DIG about this. There's a write-up, there's a promo video, which is kind of not nearly as good as just looking at the pictures on DIG's site, but both are linked below. And as I said earlier, you can find links to everything else that I'm going to be talking about down there as well. And that brings us to the next highlight thing that I want to talk about this week. And you already saw it in the title, but it is this insane sprocket that's coming out from Brotherhood, I believe is what it's called. It's abbreviated B-R-Z-R-H-D. And it's this guard sprocket that is totally not really a guard sprocket because they don't recommend it for heavy use. And it literally says in this write-up on BMX Union that they recommend using a different full guard sprocket if you're trying to grind. So basically, this is for all of you people who have guard sprockets but no pegs on your bike and never plan on grinding whatsoever. Totally for looks. And when it comes to the looks of this thing, it is awesome. It seriously looks amazing. And if they could make this so that it wouldn't completely disintegrate the first time that I do a 180 sprocket 180 on a concrete street spine, I would totally ride this thing, but I guarantee I would totally obliterate it the first time I rode it at Canal Fulton Skate Park. So it's out of the picture for me, but I figured it'd be worth talking about because it's kind of crazy and extremely cool looking. I'm also curious to hear you guys' thoughts on this one as well as the Eclat Seismic Hub. I really want to hear what you guys think about that hub. So let me know in the comments down below. Let's have a conversation about it 
and let's move on to the rest of the BMX news interrupted by these raccoons that are outside because I forgot to shut my window and I feel like that's why I can't concentrate right now. The first thing that I want to talk about is a contest and jam related thing and the only contest and jam related thing and that is that Mark Webb won the BMX World's Dirt Contest this year. I've said for quite a while now and I don't think anyone would disagree that Mark Webb is one of the best BMX riders ever and out there right now and I've said quite a lot that I think Mark could do anything he wants to, anywhere he wants to, any time that he wants to, and this just about proves it because he won a dirt contest. Although it's just a whole bunch of dirt jumps in a row, so it's basically box jumps, and we all know that he is insane at riding box jumps. Doesn't really matter. He beat Mike Hucker Clark and Declan Brooks in a dirt jumping contest. Pretty awesome, and there's a two minute, 27 second highlight reel from this contest winning runs that you guys can check out if you want to. And that brings us into the videos from this week. And as we start to talk about these, I wanna point out so you guys notice how much variation there is in everything that I'm talking about this week. From the first thing that we talked about in this new amazing hub to a crazy looking sprocket all the way to down to these videos that we're going to talk about. The first one being the dirt jumping contest that we just finished talking about. Then the first video that I wanna talk about is a drop the pin with Hobie Doan that's in Spain, Badalona, Spain to be specific, but there's tons of amazing setups and spots in this video that you can probably only find in Spain. Then after that, we had 100 raw seconds with Corey Walsh, so you know what you're gonna get there. Some trails like bull riding, and there's tons of it in this 100 seconds, and it's all amazing that only Corey Walsh could do and make look that flawless and the only word I can use to describe this riding is beautiful. I don't care if you make fun of me for it. Then after that, we've got Volume's Pacific Northwest Tour video that features Brock Rayford, Billy Perry, and Demarcus Paul, just to name a couple of the people in it. And this has got everything from skate parks to street to setups in the parking lots at bike shops to an indoor skate park in it. And then after that, we've got the craziness riding that is Steve Kolb's set to a Godsmack song. So if you've ever seen Steve Kolb's riding, you know that it's unlike anything that you've ever seen before, both creative wise, skate park wise, flatland wise, and just everything that he does is totally within his own realm. So that is completely different than everything else that we're talking about. Then after that, we've got FBM riding Syracuse, New York. So they've got that East Coast grimy street spot stuff that they're riding in here. And just tons of variation there. And it's not even it yet, but wait, there's more. After that, we've got a video with Matthias Dandois from Haro. So that's Flatland thrown into the mix. So literally everything that you can imagine except hardcore straight up trails to talk about this week. And guess what? There's stuff to talk about with trails too because we have to talk about the petition on change.org or .com or whatever it is to try and help save Kush Woods up in Canada. So if you guys want to help out and sign the petition, that's going to be in the description as well. So there's the trails news stuff to talk about. Literally everything you can imagine in variation within BMX to talk about this week. And I wanted to make sure that I pointed that out for you guys to take notice of because I think it's pretty freaking awesome. And how do we top all of that off? Of course, with a video of someone who can do all of it and be amazing at it. And that is Dennis Anderson. We've got a video from Dennis Anderson or featuring Dennis Anderson from Demolition, where it's a behind the scenes look at everything that went into capturing a poster for Demolition at what looks like a skate park, but I'm assuming is a street spot that is just amazing. And that brings us into the product related things to talk about this week. The first of those is the second edition of GT's complete story this time from our bmx the first time it was from ride bmx same people same concept all of the guys on gt that have their own signature complete bikes ride those bikes on the streets wherever they want to and shred them and they made a video out of it for everyone to enjoy. And just like last time, this is an extremely well done video. Everything from the writing to the filming, to the editing, to the song choice, all went together very well to put together a 
really good video and the concept was exactly the same. They showed up with no bike, built up their signature complete bike from GT, then proceeded to go out and absolutely shred the streets with them. And there was no holding back whatsoever in their riding. And this is a very apparent when you watch the video. And then we can talk about S&M's Behind the Shield book that is available for pre-order right now. And to talk about it and give you guys a description, I'm going to read directly from their description. It says, Behind the Shield is an in-depth account of the lunacy and legacy that is s and Bikes, an American bicycle company. Pre-order now and pick up in person at the Behind the Shield launch party July 2nd. We'll ship it if you can't make the shindig. That is directly from s and Bikes. So if you guys are into this, you know where to find it. I think it's pretty cool to see this. And s and is one of the companies in BMX that has been here pretty much since the very beginning. And that brings us into a quick promo video from Kink for the new Kink Williams 2020 Complete Bike. As always, it's from Kink, made by Daryl Taco. So you know that it's a really well done video. And that's all I can really say about it. It's a very well done promo video featuring Nathan Williams and his signature complete bike with the last clip probably being my favorite one because it's panning over on the complete bike while Nathan is doing a grind down a rail in the background. Pretty awesome if you ask me. We can move on to the interview section of the video this week and I've only got one thing to talk about and that is another Imprimatur BMX podcast, this time featuring Steve Caro. I hope I said that last name right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Either way though, Steve owns and operates one of the very few remaining rider owned and operated BMX shoe companies and that's pretty cool it's SCG shoes and I've heard a lot of good things about them so if you guys want to check out his podcast or anything else that I talked about today links as always are in the description down below with that being said that's going to wrap up this week's BMX news video hope you enjoyed it if you had a favorite store or you want to talk about the class seismic hub or that crazy new hub guard do so in the comments down below let's have a conversation and I thank you for watching subscribe if you're new and we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Thanks again and goodbye.